I'm Deborah Curry, Dean of Health Sciences at Gadsden State Community College, and I want to welcome you to the Gadsden State December 2020 Nursing Pinning Ceremony. COVID-19 has presented us with many challenges this year. One of many for you was the difference in how you learn, but you should be happy and proud of your accomplishments today because you had to totally redirect yourself to a different way of learning and yet you have succeeded. I wish you much success in the nursing program. I know that you didn't get here alone. So, of course, because we're under COVID restrictions, we can't have family at the pending today. But I want to take this time to recognize that I know each of you had dedicated friends and family that helped you through this difficult time. So best wishes to you in the future, and we just hope that we never have to have such an unprecedented time as COVID again. Thank you, God bless. Hey, congratulations for making it finally to this point of your schooling career. You have all come a really long way from starting in the summer to now getting to see what it's like during a pandemic. Y'all have done well. You have persevered on all that you have done. You've gone from being sent home to being virtual and now being able to get out into the workforce. Congratulations on all that you have accomplished in getting to this point. Do not stop learning at this point in time. Just because you have your diploma and you have a degree, you are always going to learn. You're going to learn something every single day. As nurses, we don't stop learning. We continue to learn. Don't, don't put it down. Don't, don't put it to the side. You still have NCLEX that you have to take. And just because you've gotten through the program doesn't mean that you're going to pass NCLEX without putting forth that much more effort to be successful. We want you all to be successful. Again, congratulations and welcome to the best profession that there is. Hello, Dr. Lightsey here. I just wanted to offer you guys some words of encouragement, tell you that we are very, so very proud of you. We know how hard you have worked and we just want to share in your excitement now. I want to just read to you, if I may, a portion of a couple of poems. Um, and th this first one is Success Has No Limits by Michelle Richards. There are no limits to what you can do. Your talents and abilities, your uniqueness and warmth your strength and dedication in everything you do. All of these will help you reach your dreams. There are no limits to what life has to offer you. The world is full of possibilities, just as you are filled with promise. Seek, discover, and embrace with openness the richness of experience. Believe in yourself, and you will always know success. And then a portion of this other poem that I wanted to share with you it was written by Linda Knight. I know the days in nursing can become very long and very challenging, so I just wanted to leave you with, with these encouraging words. Begin each day by focusing on all that is good, and then you will be in a position to handle whatever comes along. Take responsibility for your actions. Never make excuses for not being the best that you can be. If you should slip, be comforted by the thought that we all do at times. Determine your tomorrow by the choices you make today, and you will find yourself living in joy and triumph. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Hello, RN grads of December 2020. This is Dr. Molinax. I just wanted to let you all know how extremely proud of you I am for this major accomplishment in your life. As your instructor this last semester of the RN program, I've watched you all stepped up to challenges that have been placed before you. You all have conquered and completed so much. You have completed large amounts of coursework. You have taken many, many tests, and you've even completed 180 hours of precepting and virtual clinical. All of this completed in an unprecedented time that, that we never thought that we would be able to live through, this pandemic of COVID-19. Um, but you know what? That's what nurses do. Nurses step up to challenges every day in their practice. Whether it's COVID-19, if it's a myocardial infarction, or something like a minor ingrown toenail, 
you know, that's what we do. We're flexible, we step up, and we take care of our sick patients no matter what the challenge is that we're faced with. I wish you the very best in your nursing careers, and I know that you're going to have so many opportunities as you get out there into the work world. So guys, reach for the stars, never stop learning, and I wanted to leave you with the Florence Nightingale Pledge that we normally read together at the end of a pinning ceremony. So I'm not sure that we're going to have the opportunity to do that in our virtual program, so I wanted to just read this to you. Y'all know that Florence Nightingale, she was like the, the beginner of, of nurses, and she had such a wisdom, wisdom even back in, in her day, things that are so applicable to nursing practice today. So take this pledge to heart, and I will provide each of you a copy of this so you'll have it the day of the pinning ceremony. So it states, I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. So I hope that you'll take that pledge to heart, take it seriously, and take it with you as you go out into your nursing practice. Graduating from nursing school is the best feeling. It's at this point that you realize your dreams have come true. You can take what you've learned and put it into practice and conquer challenges. So start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Because I believe in this graduating class, and I know that you have the perfect balance of the science and the art of nursing. Take pride in how far you have come, have faith in where you're going, and don't forget to enjoy the journey. Talking about enjoyment, one more pun. What do you call a pile of kittens? Meowtons. You just climbed your first one. Congratulations and welcome to the nursing profession. I can't wait to work beside you. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of my classmates and myself, I want to thank the faculty for uh, your instruction and your support through these five semesters, which felt like five years. Um, to my classmates, we made it. I mean, that's, that was our goal. Um, it's been wild. It's been a crazy ride, to say the least. We've gone through so much during this program, um, starting out. We had to face adversity. Um, thanks to the pandemic, which caused us to shift to online full-time when we were used to being in the classroom. And that was also during what they say is one of the hardest semesters. And then we went through fourth semester, which was wild and crazy and fast. Uh, four weeks of instruction, four te uh, tests every week over new information that was more in depth. We did it, guys. Um, we were trying to balance normal life with school. I'm glad I got to meet and experience this journey with all of you. Um, and I know we will all be great nurses. I know if I'm ever in need of a nurse, I know who to ask for. Um, here's to going out in the world and making it a better place. Congratulations, class of 22, next steps to NCLEX, which I know all of us will blow out of the water, finally get those two letters we've been working so hard for. Thank you so much for voting me as class president, and that's it. Good morning. Um, it's my pleasure to give out awards at this um, pinning ceremony. So the first two awards that I have are for academic excellence and academic achievement. We have two students that have mastered this. The, the requirements are you've got to have at least a 3.5 GPA up to last semester. Um, we can't calculate this semester yet, so we do it up to last semester. We have two students that um, achieve that uh, difficult task, especially in nursing school. The first one getting academic achievement is Alyssa Farmer. Right here. 
Congratulations. The second, getting excellence in academic achievement. This is the highest GPA in your cohort class. This goes to April Leith. Congratulations. All right, so we have two sections represented in this graduating class. We have selected one student from each um, section for the Nightingale Award. The selection process includes nomination from both the student's peers and the faculty. The Nightingale Award is named after Florence Nightingale, who was a trailblazing figure in nursing. Her work continues to greatly affect the 19th and 20th century policies around proper care. The criterion that must be met to be nominated for this award are outstanding clinical performance, compassion for other people, respect for the dignity and rights of others, warmth and understanding in clinical practice, dedication to the preservation of health, dedication to the comfort of patients and their families, and good moral character. From the Cherokee Day program, these are some of the comments that were made about this student. The student is caring for everyone they're around. The student is easy to be around and talk to and is always supportive. The student has the it factor whenever walking into a patient's room where the patient will relax and be cooperative and whatever, needs, whatever task needs to be done. And they will communicate to them even if they're unwilling to communicate to others. The student is always striving to be the best nurse they can be. They are compassionate, comforting, and always there to lend a helping hand. They are genuinely one of the most kind-hearted people I know. I am a firm believer that the patient's perception of their care and outcome has a lot to do with how they heal. This student is always positive, empathetic, and supportive, no matter what their personal views are. And the last one is, I cannot say enough good things about this person who has become such a massive part of my nursing school journey. I know that anyone who knows this person will agree that they have done nothing but encourage them and add value to their lives. The Nightingale Award for Cherokee Days goes to Kara Smith. Congratulations. All right, from Cherokee Knights. Comments about the student that has been selected include, I nominated this person because of their heart for nursing. This student is extremely dedicated to this profession and is truly has a servant's heart. The student rocked clinicals with both their knowledge and hands-on skills. The student has a willingness not only to help other patients, but their fellow classmates whenever we needed it. This student has amazing perseverance, and even though they had setbacks, they didn't allow it to hold them back. They allowed it to make them a better nurse. And this year's Nightingale Award Cherokee Knights goes to Anthony Kaiser.
right, so it's time to be pinned. Are you excited? I know you are. Let's give everybody a big hand again for those awards. And a big hand to everybody for all your hard work. All right. So, Ms. Seaman, you're going to pin the first student. First student we have is Ashley Alexander. Ashley's currently employed in an urgent care nursing setting at a facility in Anniston, Alabama. She hopes to gain future employment in labor and delivery. Next we have Holly Angle. Holly will be working at a facility in Rome, Georgia. The department that she'll be working in is pending. Hasn't made that decision yet. Next we have Brittany Bailey. Brittany has options for employment in facilities in Rome and Kennestone, Georgia. Her nursing interest is in thoracic and cardiovascular surgery. Next we have Caleb Brown. Caleb plans to gain employment in either Etowah, Cherokee, or DeKalb County. And he has interest in orthopedic, medical surgical, emergency, and psychiatric nursing. Next we have Emily Carney. Emily has accepted a position in a facility in Rome, Georgia. She has interest in cardiac nursing, critical care nursing, and pediatrics. Cabe Carney. <clears throat> Cabe has accepted a position at a facility in Rome, Georgia, and he has a very strong interest in orthopedic nursing. Joshua Cofield. Josh has plans to work in a facility in the Gadsden area and he has an interest in critical care nursing. Carly Combs. Carly has accepted a position in the nurse residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia.
Juliet Dold was not able to be with us today, but she's currently employed at a local facility in the Gadsden area and is employed currently in the emergency department there. She plans to continue to work there. Next we have Jessica Easler. Jessica plans to work in the Rome, Georgia area, and she has interest in emergency room and critical care nursing. <clears throat> Next we have Courtney Earwood. Courtney currently has options for employment in the Rome and Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia areas, um, both in nurse residency programs. She has interests in critical care, emergency room, and pediatric nursing. Rachel Fair. Rachel is currently employed at a facility in Anniston, Alabama. She um, has plans to continue working there on a medical surgical unit where she currently works as an LPN. Next we have Alyssa Farmer. Alyssa has accepted a position in oncology nursing at a facility in the Birmingham area. Another student who is not able to be with us today is Miranda Giger. Miranda has accepted a position at a St. Vincent's Hospital System facility in St. Clair County. Her interests are in medical surgical nursing and critical care nursing. Next we have Kenley Hand. Kenley has accepted a position in a nurse residency program in the Rome area. Her interest is in cardiac nursing on a cardiac step-down unit. <clears throat> Next we have Anna Herring. Anna has accepted a position at a facility in Rome, Georgia. Her interest is in neonatal intensive care nursing. Next we have Holly Hickerson. Holly is currently employed at a facility in Anniston, Alabama. Her interests are currently in obstetric nursing and holding those babies in the nursery. <laughs> I want that job too. <clears throat> Next we have Haley Holder. 
Haley has accepted a position in the nurse residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia. She has an interest in critical care nursing. Next we have Molly Kearns Oaks. Molly has accepted a position in the nurse resi residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia, and her interest is obstetric nursing. <clears throat> Next we have Anthony Kaiser. Anthony has accepted a position at a facility in the Birmingham area and his interest is critical care nursing. <laughs> Next we have Stephanie Knight. Stephanie has currently accepted a position in the nurse residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia, and her interest is emergency room nursing. April Leith. April hopes to gain employment in the Rome, Georgia area and her interest is adult health nursing. Next we have Megan Martin. Megan hopes to gain employment in a local Gadsden facility and her interest is adult medical surgical nursing. Reagan McGraw. Reagan plans to continue present employment at a facility in Rome, Georgia on a neurology unit. Kayla Merritt. Kayla plans to work at a facility in Rome, Georgia. Her interest is emergency room nursing. <laughs> Whitney Miller. Whitney plans to work at a facility in Rome, Georgia, and her interest is in critical care nursing. Next we have Jennifer Ramsey. Jennifer also plans to work in a facility in Rome, Georgia and she has an interest in critical care nursing.
Audrey Richardson. Audrey plans to work in a facility in the Gadsden area. She has interest in critical care and emergency room nursing. Morgan Richardson. Morgan plans to work at a facility in Rome, Georgia, and she has interest in emergency room nursing. Brittany Smith. Brittany has employment options in both Gadsden and Birmingham facilities. Her interests are in medical surgical and orthopedic nursing. Next we have Kara Smith. Kara has accepted a position in the nurse resi residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia. She has an interest in working with adult health nursing. Sydney Smith. Sydney has accepted a position at a facility in Rome, Georgia. She has an interest in progressive care nursing with focuses on cardiac and pulmonary nursing. Allison Stokes. Allison currently works at a St. Vincent's Health System facility in Aniana. Her, her interests are in psychiatric and pediatric nursing as well as nursing for the intellectually disabled. Allie Beth Surrett. Allie Beth has accepted a position at a facility in Rome, Georgia. Her interest is in cardiac nursing on a cardiac step down unit. Tuck. Talon has accepted a position in the nurse residency program at a facility in Rome, Georgia. Her, her nursing interests are labor and delivery, surgery, and medical surgical nursing. Next we have Catherine Tushim. Catherine plans to work at a facility in Rome, Georgia. She has an interest in emergency room nursing. Tori 
Tori Vines. Tori plans to work at a facility in Rome, Georgia. Her interests are pediatric nursing and labor and delivery. That concludes our pinning ceremony. Thank you. Thanks to all involved.